I had no clue that I would have been uh, still uh, home talking to you today. Uh, when we, I remember we uh, we had a chat in the coaching room, and we we thought the season would be uh, on hold for two or three weeks, maybe a month. So I'm in Montreal with uh, four T-shirts and uh, three pair of pants. <laughs> Can't wait to go back to Syracuse. And uh, we we thought we would be home, like I said, two three weeks, and uh, and, and resume the season and like. I remember sitting down with the players and telling them, look, we'll, we'll probably sit down 10 days, two weeks, so make sure we stay in shape and, you know, like stay focused. Like we can't lose our focus. And then after a week, 10 days, you realize that, you know what, we'll never go back. So it's, uh, it, it, it is frustrating. And, uh, but like I said, for before, when we left, for us, it was uh, temporary, and uh, we end up like two two months later, two and a half months later, we're still sitting at home. Since I'm in Syracuse, I've never been part of exit meeting because I, I really want. I think it belongs to uh, the players and the general manager to sit down and talk. It's it's something as a general manager, you don't have the chance to do much during the year. Like uh, during the year, the day to day, it's players, coaches, trainers, and it's always the same thing. And the general manager is in and out. And, and I think it's, it's a really good opportunity uh, for them to sit down with players 15, 20, 30 minutes and really have a, a good uh, evaluation or a good message for the players to leave, but also to hear what the players have, have to say about the season. And, uh, the way it works. So, I I, I know Stacy did that through uh, through Zoom call, and uh, so uh, it, it was good. Even though it's not live, it's better than nothing. But for us, like we, I try to talk to the players once in a while. Um, obviously, there's many players, so you don't call them every day. But I try to. Uh, talk to them once in a while I try to FaceTime with uh, those that it's possible you know what it, it's good to see their face it's good to see uh, if uh, they're they're still uh, they're, they're they're still ready or they put on they put on some pounds you got to be careful right so it's uh, yeah it's it, it's it's challenging but like for us as as coaches are what we're going to do it's as soon as we can go like like we're uh, we can't wait to go to to go back to uh, our office. Like we know it's over, but it, it's not about preparing next season. It's really closing this one here. Make sure we uh, we just uh, you know the way we work. Everything is very structured, and it's just to okay. Let let's let's close this file here. Like we, we add this, make sure that this file is, is in order and we're ready for next year. And maybe do a little bit of work on uh, our NHL team, a little bit of work on other NHL team. And we have special project that we talk about during the season that you're so busy with the, the schedule and all that, that uh, you, you basically you have not as much time as you'd like to to have to work on those projects. So it's going to be a time for us that uh, to uh, to work on this a little bit. But it's more about putting our our files in order and make sure we're we're ready uh, when because during the year you change you tweak certain things. You just want to make that clear. It's on paper. It's on in, in the computer. It's in the book. So it's done and you're ready next year.